All right, ladies and gentlemen, uh, this time I am going to do MK Ultra on Germany. Uh, I will specifically concentrate myself into more or less area of uh, Munich, uh, even a little bit north of Munich. Uh, in this case, I'm going to start with translation of an audio. This is an audio which was produced on May the 29, 2021. That's about nine days, uh, nine days ago. On my way from Gritch area, that's the second most popular route politicians would take on. And I, I did already presented abundant of uh, people I met were involved in MK Ultra proofs. Uh, in the evening, sometimes at 11 o'clock on May the 29, 2021. By the way, today is June 7 of 2021. I did met, as I was coming back, at 11 o'clock at night, pitch dark. And I see a van parked right on the side of the road. The van looked like this here. Uh, van just looked like this here. Yeah. And so it did have a line on the side and it was blue in the back. And I saw this van. Uh, first, I wasn't sure was it for the police that was there. I didn't know what, what exactly went on. Uh, so as I did go past this vehicle, I would peek a little bit in the back, I would eye in the back and I see a table outside of the car, just as the two have promised they would do. Oh, that's really interesting. Uh, who? Well, the two guys were from Munich, Germany, they told me. One was on a phone call, busy, uh, I, I got some taste. For the two uh, but honestly especially because of what went on in Germany after 2003 uh, already it was in 2003 it was not even in 2004 I was gonna say when I got I really got in a conflict with Merkel with Angela Merkel uh, because of the psychiatrist Peter Kopsch. Peter Kopsch was an individual who was involved in MK Ultra before he even became a psychiatrist. A guy was like a courier between Novomest and Belgrade. He would take me down uh, and uh, he was just up to no good. Uh, he was just up, he lived up to expectations of what used to be Yugoslavia, a greater Chetnik state, uh, which Serbia presided and ended in war against all other nations in this greater Chetnik state. Uh, he didn't have a problem to associate with Chetniks from Belgrade in completely in conscious to myself he did go ahead impregnated ladies did all kinds of stuff in belgrade sometimes in 99 2000 2001 2002 this guy moved inside of the house he stayed inside in here for several months and would continue to give me an impression on every turn here to Novomesto. Even when he no longer would be here, he would come and give an impression that he still lives in here. Pushed, oh well, insulted me by presenting himself as I, as myself, to a visitors into the house. Obviously, uh, terrorized parents and myself annoyed me enough 
for me eventually at one point in time to really get in his face uh, firm uh, really ask him come on to get lost I don't want to see him no more and so on and so forth this guy was nothing than violence it was nothing than violence at one point in time when I returned back to the US Americans protested against him I gained several kilos five kilos the least it was reported by American psychologists that more he even talked about 10 kilos 8 kilos I don't know because they fed me with the chocolates and he loved nothing more than a fried onions and I don't know was it for his stupidity because here he's not a bright person or his criminal character and probably for both that he did not know how to fry onions uh, along the french fries he would fry them in a such a way that that thing would be just soaking soaked with that oil and feed me with that shit i would return to the u.s i semi-retarded from that food i need a time to gather myself together this is mk ultra this is a real mk ultra case in 2003 he appeared in germany he knew that what he had done was something very very bad uh, it's already other psychiatrists that noticed his completely insane behavior so he felt police he felt best for him in fact would be to get associated with the foreign governments so he could hide behind them his issues his shit he created and so he did so at first this was with Angela Merkel but he was not shy of Americans and British uh, whatever requests they would give to mom right in front of him and myself uh, he would just write them down and these people would also state amount of money that's how he was convincing my mom this is a complete criminal I don't have to tell how far this stuff have taken me in my life but in 2000 and it wasn't in 2003 yet as he would keep coming back to Germany to Merkel he would go to Germany he would also take me to Germany uh, his wife didn't want him to go back to Belgrade no more because of impregnation of the Serbian ladies that's what he was doing uh, and therefore also he was no left with choice other than to take her with him and so he did uh, I don't know how much Belgrade really ended for him it appeared it did a new life started for him he yielded even business contracts to the local companies here through the Germany well, because this is about the MK Ultra in Germany uh, and did all kinds of stuff especially for his children yes I know all that stuff when I met this individual first um, this is this is a rotten individual it doesn't get more rotten than that he had a office on the same floor in the building where he is still at uh, just that was right in the opposite of where were toilets uh, then he moved to the corner this is MK Ultra, yes, and I remember I would nobody knows where his office was because this was way, 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 way back in time when he opened his office, when his private office. At the time, supposedly, I was in America. Between 95 and August of 2006, that's 11 and a half, 
consecutive years, you shouldn't see me, in fact, anywhere globally, anywhere, especially not in Europe anywhere. And I was all over Western and Eastern Europe. I was in Asia, in Australia, and South America, um, further than Ecuador, which I did go to visit on my own twice because of my ex-wife. So twice, that was in Ecuador. But other than that, I spent months per year in Europe, all over the Europe, and Asia, and so on and so forth. And Kyotra, drugging up, uh, throwing me through the airports, bringing me all over the world, basically. Transport me, human trafficking, human experimentation, much more than that, you name it. For more than business purposes, this was for geopolitical purposes. And I seem to be just a perfect, perfect individual for the country which profited from me the most. That's Germany. Yeah, there's more I could tell about the psychiatrist, but I don't want to get into it. In 2004, 2005, I, when I realized what, what, what's going on, because it would be Chetniks. It would be Chetniks that would go to Germany and Alto from Serbia. They would have uh, this Serbian delegation that he claimed also credentials, was the one who uh, kept bringing them and so on and assisting them in Germany and so on. That kind of stuff. Uh, I couldn't take it no more. I, I sent her to hell and I don't know. Yeah, there was a guy that was different. It would, be, would have been different. I'm talking about Angela Merkel, if you want to know. It's like this. In 1995, with Donald Trump, we landed in Berlin. As a matter of fact, we first landed in northern Germany. That's probably somewhere Hamburg area. It was not Berlin yet. And we would go there and uh, there was this beautiful german lady beautiful uh, absolutely beautiful i was completely crazy about her uh, crazy completely um we still did not met angela merkel uh it was like twice that we met her twice that i heard from her we i'm gonna try uh, to bring to Berlin uh, but by then this was already too hot uh, and she was in a rush to meet me and so that's how I met Angela Merkel she was not the first one it was like the third time I came around that I finally met Angela Merkel under MK Ultra uh, it was Secretaries. That was her secretary, actually. That was so beautiful. Uh, that was in Berlin. Then we went to Berlin. Yeah. How far do I remember now? Tell me how far do I remember how the things went? What is it? I don't remember. What I don't remember. How far can we go? And it was this lady is inside. Another one another lady beautiful uh, mostly I pay attention to the ladies <laughs> that's what really impressed me more than anything else I was not really into old buildings renovation of old buildings and uh, that kind of stuff uh, I didn't have a plan to study that um, then I met Angela Merkel, uh, who, whom I didn't feel I wasn't nothing special to, you know, I wasn't nothing special. But it was sometimes in, I don't know, maybe 96, 96 it was, that Angela wanted to know, I think that she wanted to know, so she's older than myself, she's like 16 years older than myself, but back then, I checked her age. She was much younger. Uh, she wasn't bad looking, 
to tell you to be honest uh, she wanted to know how I feel about her and this and that yeah whether that was for profiling to learn about me uh, or maybe I don't even know uh, I was in relationship with all the ladies um, but she did this and it did not go well and really did not go well because because of her secretaries it wasn't one there were two secretaries that were I was crazy about and so this is the thing you know this is this is the thing Angela concentrated as a professional <laughs> Uh, as, a, as, a, as a really she took uh, she wasn't pleased that I that she was not my type for one thing I want to say uh, but she didn't take that uh, too much personally uh, maybe she did stress here and there a little bit to remind me uh, but she was very very professional you know just uh, uh, that was it and that's how it started in Germany George Bush was a lot in Germany too but other than that, this guy's here. She brought straight in my doors. This guy here. Schroeder. And his beautiful wife. This is what I was crazy about. This, this, this here. <laughs> this one definitely, definitely, definitely remembers me. That's what I was crazy about. That was Schroeder. Uh, and another guy who did not live up to day I would release this video and what I see this picture here I know that he faked well where is that picture uh, let me even see that picture I knew him very very well and actually I really did like her his second wife I did, I did. A little earlier I was talking to myself about what I see and back and forth. Um, this guy, no. Uh, that was one picture where he, he uh, appeared like uh, uh, more than this. More than this. Uh, quite angry, quite angry and I was told this is what's gonna be like if um, of course, it's for some other reason. Uh, if I'm gonna talk badly about the Germany, this and that. Well, I hope he rests in peace. For me personally, he was not a person, not a bad person to be around. Um, he did have uh, differences with me. Thanks God, he did. Uh, that's a good thing good yeah I was quite unbearable person to to tell you straight but for a lot of reasons for a lot of reasons here you can see him with Angela and so on uh, there is really nobody in this high German politic I would not know um, but this guy here this guy pissed me off tremendously because you know uh, this was like a guy that would just jump from one tra to train to the other. Uh, he would just go from one train to the other. Uh, he would just jump. And before you know, he ended up in Moscow and so on and so forth. I don't want to go into that. Uh, all I want to say is, it made me feel like a stranger in Slavic countries. Um, it's my stupidity he used to open himself a road MK Ultra, but it wasn't mine it was other people who blew this out of proportions okay tell you what let's go down to the business let me see if this thing is still recording it is that's cool yeah this is the way it is um, now he's got this Chinese younger girl. Yeah, that's a younger girl he traded. 
but younger. I, like I said, this is this guy just he just jumps from one train to the other. A very very nice honorable German guy. Auf Wiedersehen. Uh, and today we're going to talk about Angie, Angela. Yeah, I was a little bit strict the past few days with her. Yeah, maybe this was the picture. This this model look, looks like uh, the picture. That he would do the picture like this if I would... Um, You know, uh, sometimes since, um, I don't know, like already 2006, this guy had a problem. It was difficult for him. Um, Helmut Kohl would, as I was told by others, he had a difficulty to get up to dress himself and so on. That's why that younger, beautiful wife. Uh, beautiful ya wife I knew her and I was crazy about her I have to be honest about how things are you know so let's see what exactly I remember and what exactly what else I don't remember about the Germany if there is something that I don't remember I can always be corrected you're welcome uh, it really was thanks to Stefan Angela you sent me the other day uh, I was angry. I wouldn't even look anymore in the map. Uh, I, I just, uh, I, I lost completely this this enthusiasm I had. It, it was gone. But meeting Stefan and meeting the other guy uh, that was there with him, his friend, one time you're gonna hear them talking. Uh, so I'm gonna play an audio recording. Um, one time he was his roommate he's a younger man but one time he was his roommate too uh, this somehow convinced me that 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 you know that I actually looked into Munich you know, and then you know, there was this whole big window that opened but you know I, w I was looking some other cities like Hamburg and stuff and uh, honestly I, I, I just didn't want to see it because you know i am a person like this to tell you the truth okay uh, i tell you what let's go to the business i am gonna go ahead uh so stefan did it um and another individual who really really scored here because this was actually a really difficult thing uh stefan became stefan is a taller guy taller than myself he's about like 190 I don't know, maybe six five tall, and he's got black hair. Um, and uh, he's got a really, really good uh, ability to relate to people. He was very precise about that too, because he got excellent along with me. I got excellent. I, I liked him. I liked him very much to to be around me under MK Ultra. Um, I, I wouldn't say social skills and, and psychology skills or something, but he has this ability, natural, to understand person, to relate to person, and it's just uh, kind of human inside, really. Nice, nice person, this Stefan. Um, he became uh, Angela's confidant. He was, uh, he became like a signed MK Ultra staff member for this case. I can tell you, he told me, he also works in other cases, Angela, uh, in other Nkeosha cases. Um, and now, he would travel to US. I remember him as a student. I remember him when he worked in, uh, in a fridge department, refrigeration, ref warehousing, you know, refrigeration, that's a difficult job actually, I tried that in Minnesota, in Minneapolis I did it, and I can tell you it's freaking cold inside of those freezers, uh, he did that kind of stuff, it's very very possible too, 
that it was in Kaufland I'm gonna demonstrate to you uh, very nice excellent social skills uh, human person knows how to re relate uh, I, I liked him so much that I didn't even like when he went to park his car uh, it wasn't much it was maybe half an hour that he went and I didn't even like that no, I kind of considered others as, as, as a weirdos because it was just really really nice and others we just wanted to BS uh, you know this is stuff that they shouldn't they learn somewhere in Angola that they shouldn't do otherwise and so he was so nice that uh, when I met him and you know he was he is just a person that he believes in a person in an individual and uh, it's actually what really gave me the energy to go on with this MKO trouble about the Germany another person who great great scored great and who also took me to Munich as the last one uh, actually was Sergei from Belarus whom I want to thank uh, he is a truck driver as you know I met him in a city called Strikov Strikov is a city like located like in a northeastern part of uh, Lodz which is Lodz is like a big city in this right in the center of the Poland and he would come with a truck and I did the video about the Sergei from Belarus he had the girlfriend here from Slovenia and so on and so he scored big time because not because I would know who these people are but this is like a question almost of seconds I had two minutes to gather some kind of information that would give me ability uh, to get these people straight yes we know you you know yeah it's true MK Ultra and stuff like that um, and no more it, it was also a scenario like this it was done along this uh, path where I would go to work with Sergey and so you know he took me to Munich uh, for a walks he would go exercise and he would take me with me uh, and Grichovia this second most popular route politicians would use as explain this is where he, we would go he would take me oftentimes and so you know when you go through these routes you you pull all this memory out out of you know subconscious uh things come to you 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 can almost feel you know like you know person is next to you you know when you revive these memories um he took me with a van that was not with a truck with a van he took me to they gave me a van one time and in that occasion he took me to Munich so we did go to Munich uh, he took me to Munich and we did go to visit both you know so he was the last one and so he he refreshed me uh, the memory enough so I was able to you know to just bring up his words I knew Stefan was MK Ultra the main guy I knew that but who was the other guy uh, I had to get something out of it and it was not enough time it was no map it was nothing 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 this Germans Stefan Stefan and uh, was he was pleased he was nervous because the chances that I would actually do something like this this is like super 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 slender now it was a different story once I came home see because that's when I took computer and I, I took Munich and I took a note of it but man uh, out there at night uh, at 11 o'clock at night peach peach dark uh, somewhere along the forest uh, on the road that runs along the forest and just like this chances are that you will not succeed with unless unless you really know what you're doing and uh, I bought those precious uh, seconds enough to look even further and decided to go about and do more than just a translation for you of this audio and I'm gonna go ahead and do some mini MKO to know that I was gonna do this several on several occasions 
the laptop that you hear is not a good shape. I was told on the MKUltra that once you're gonna do this stuff, to do this real fast, because even the hot weather, when it's gonna get the hot weather, you're not gonna be able to do it. They were doing such a crazy stuff that you have no clue. Let's go, folks. Uh, this is MKUltra. I am Alsus Bustian, Bastian Alser. Uh, Google, Alser Times, a U S E R times for more. Even that I observed Google still censors my new site. Uh, Google removed all the results about the also times from the internet, which is not very generous. But we will get through that, Mr. Joe Biden. We will get through that. MK Ultra on Germany. What I am gonna do let me present this issue here all right ladies and gentlemen and meanwhile they already did stop me that's what you see you see this yellow thing i think i believe this program was modified i think that before i go on this is how i lost nine days it can be really really frustration nothing other than that I tell you uh, that's all you get to see this thing here look you don't get to see anything this thing here this is either red just like you see it now actually yellow like you see it right now that's if somebody clicks you a pause button or it just turns into like a a red circle yeah oh. if you record if your record is just um, red and if somebody remotely blocks you from recording it turns out into this here so it's practically no way you can actually see um, whether you are recording or you are not recording oh yeah and on the bottom as you see uh, it says recording okay I don't know how much you can see it uh, it also says recording but this is so small that I personally have a really difficulty with this stuff so now I came to solution proud to say I'm gonna do it this way yeah because once you change into this window like this you don't get to see anything you don't know nothing about what goes on so now I came up with solution to just reduce the window like this right rather than have a full window like that and still have a chance to peek on this red button below that's gonna save me a lot of trouble uh, at least I have somewhat control because this is about only work you perform but iron on the other side of the cable that somebody doesn't block you uh, from doing your stuff basically this is much more than just MK Ultra okay ladies and gentlemen it can be also frustrating this kind of stuff this, this is very insane you know think about talking about the stuff I talk and at the same time worry about who got a hold of your computer from the other end of the internet yeah that's that's kind of crazy but it's all good so now as I know this thing is recording that's really encouraging for me let's continue with translation of this audio recording uh, the van you see here might even be already the third van Volkswagen van from Stefan they did prompted me exactly about how the van from Stefan looks like I am certain in 2015 now you're talking about upgraded Volkswagen transporter um, I think in my opinion this is the car he has already most likely since like even 2008 I would say so that that makes 12 years you know I, I was prompted about how to pay attention to what his car looks like and they watched 
they went over and over and over in 2015 inside of this room to show me actually what, what his van looks like. I, I could easily say the car, at least this car he has for eight years. But I think I am suspicious that he has one. Okay, let's see. But for peace sake, 10 years. He always had, however, this kind of vehicle. This was a vehicle he bought for the trip. He just his preferred Volkswagen Transport is just the thing. Another thing you need, I need to clarify, is for basically the location itself. The location itself of this little Croatian island, as you see here, it's called the Island Bog. This is a really extremely beautiful, beautiful, beautiful place. Uh, on which, however, at my disappointment, some Croatian politician got him. Yeah, it was a politician, Croatian politician that hijacked him sometime, sometimes in back in 2002. Uh, I, I finally managed to fool him enough to bring me to vicinity of Rijeka here. You know, this is always what I wanted to investigate. That's Rijeka. Beautiful, in beautiful Croatia along the coast this this Rijeka city this is also the city that used to be at one point if not Slovenian city completely populated with Slovenian people now I actually even had part of the family that did go to Rijeka so this is all this area is all mixed with Slovenian and Croat people here Twice I got him into this area here. This is Baka, this this here. This is a really, really beautiful place, ladies and gentlemen. If you have a chance to go to Croatia, this is a place to go to. Uh, and the third time, it was a Croatian politician who got him, and it was game over for me. So that was like 91 I got him. In 92, it was some, some politician, Croatian, got him, uh, and... Yeah, and he wouldn't even listen to me when I was keep telling him about this area that we have to investigate, learn more of this and that. Yeah, all of a sudden, man, all of a sudden, it was like Amerigo Vespucci. He discovered this island here, Park. Uh, this here is where this politician got him. Yeah, they, that's what they want. They, they know he's going to bring me and then what happens is the money comes too along and this is called Novalia this is like a really really gorgeous place a really really gorgeous place yeah and so at one time at night it was like a night time man he brought me here to the opposite side of this gulf little gulf here that you see here right here somewhere he brought me well actually, actually let me see that uh, it was something like this and uh, I, I was, I was, I was so miserable. You know, he, he, uh, he just drove me and drove me and drove me all freaking night. You know, and uh, it, it stopped at night, and we would come out. And I was just really, I, I was just decided I'm gonna give him like a million and one problem or whatever. Uh, and he would get me out of the car and just like this van here. Look just like this van here uh, lights uh, beautiful summer evening lights on that side uh, lights on this side people walking back and forth Stefan here uh, up to his uh, knees in the water yeah, and myself too and I was like and now what <laughs> just like this this was also was at night time um, and he was laughing you know and then he came up with idea to tell me uh, what 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 do you do you feel now? Uh, I said this is like, well, what this is like stones, you know, stones. And what I had in my mind actually was a sand, you know, stones. This is like, this is not sands. This is stones. This is really stones. But what I know Croatia about is not the stones like this, but. Croatia, this is like a rocky, rocky beach, like you see over there, beautiful rocks along which you can swim and there is a fish inside and it's a whole beautiful world underneath, right? It's not exactly um, 
Croatia has a famous, that's right, uh, rocks, uh, rocks, uh, stone beaches like this, yeah, Greece has a sand, Greece is more like soft, but, okay, this, I like it like this, um, the next time, very soon after that, he would already bring his uh, companion. And this companion, this was a uh, blonde guy. From many, his roommate. And all of a sudden, I would find myself here. Uh, that's basically the opposite opposite side and that looked like this it, that's exactly 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 what it is and i protested over there i didn't like this shit i didn't like this man but this is like sandy beach almost sandy with a little stones uh yeah and he had his uh the blonde guy had his blondie uh, girlfriend with him and uh, I envied him that girlfriend I like it was beautiful uh, and uh, soon got really really tired of me and then he started they started to look for uh, ladies from me and uh, there was some friends also from the past in the area uh, to which relationship I did not agree and they told me then it was a retaliation for what I did in Munich and back and forth and this and that and all kinds of stuff like that um, um, I had a feeling that they gave them a place here uh, in, I don't know what house was it, but it was some, some residence and stuff like that. They treated them like really well. And along that, there was some politicians that would come and, you know, money and stuff like that. And it helps local economy going. Um, that was here. That's that's in the park. Uh, back in normal mess. And meanwhile, And the second most popular route for the politicians uh, on the May the 29th, this here is what I have to report to you about. Camping, huh? For one night, for a long ride, eight hours. No, no, it's okay. No problem, no, no, no problem. Uh -huh. Now there's some food and legs. And yeah, 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 nice, and nice, nice. Where are you from? Germany. Ah, from Germany. <laughs> I see. <laughs> I see. From where about Germany? Munich. From Munich. Ah, I see. And you're going to Croatia or something like that? No? I might go back to Croatia. Um, uh, yeah, we also went to Croatia. We're on the way back home. You're on the way back home? Yeah. Aha. Uh -huh. To Munich. <laughs> A long ride, huh? Yeah. Do you know this place already? We will do maps research and. Erste Mal. Erste Mal. Yes, Yes, the mall. Um, first time. You're here first time. Yes, yeah? the mall. So yes, the mall. 
Ja, wir sind durchgefahren äh, nach Kroatien, aber wir waren noch nie hier. Äh, das erste Mal stay. First day. Uh -huh. Okay, I just want to pause here, excuse me. He says uh, we left from Germany to Croatia. Uh, it does not give a period whether that already happened already time before. It could, and it could have been just the first time. That's something yet for me to determine, and it's very important. It comes very important in the future. Uh, so I just, right now, I am just diving with my thoughts. I'm diving in Mariana Trench right now, uh, blowing my mind, trying to pull the information out as fast as I can about these two guys, as fast as I can about these two guys. Uh, the only, the only thing, well, I'm not gonna say anything yet. So I just want you to get the feeling how that looks like. Uh, doing my best to recall and. It's not only about to recall, it's to see the level of cooperation you can get from the people. It's to actually rate whether it's even worth taking a chance. There was people out there, you would not believe me what kind of stupid stuff I have gone through uh, when trying to identify people. So, to speak, uh, he says, we left Germany for Croatia uh, and it's the first time we're here in uh, in Novomis, it's the first time we're here uh, on our way back, it's the first time we're here in Novomis uh, so impossible even to tell whether he was in Croatia more than once yeah, it's, it's nice, it's very uh, the, the, the mountains and the, the mountains here is very empty, it's nice maybe you should stay some more time here yeah, yeah maybe Yeah. Is there a good place to go? Yeah, it's right here. Otoc, it's not too far. Mm -hmm. That's a nice place to go. Yeah, but how is Ljubljana? Is the capital? That's far away. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> not really. I'm kidding. Okay. <laughs> your, your friend is looking at me. He's already... <laughs> yeah, we are, we are very... Uh, suspicious. No, not suspicious, but uh, uh, tired. Yeah, 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 I understand. You're gonna sleep inside of the car and stuff? Yeah? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, Tortress is very nice here, but now the river is a little bit high right now. Otherwise, I, I would say to you, go and have a swim. In the lake? <laughs> I'm sorry? In the lake? No, it's a river here. Oh, on the map. On the map, yeah. yeah. So you came right now, you came, huh? Yeah, half an hour ago. Oh, yeah. yeah. Are you living here or hiking? I was hiking and uh, yeah, I'm on my way back now. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, it's a good place to hike. Up and down. Here it's very nice, you know. Yeah, it's nobody's gonna bother you here. Uh, I'm thinking, yeah. There are good locations here, but right now, yeah. We had two cars coming, coming by, but I hope at night. Uh I don't think you're going to have a problem here, but there is a road right there that goes to the gas station. Uh, that's a forest right there, but you probably are better off here anyways, because I don't know. I'm not exactly friend of gas station you know remote forest like this is not maybe maybe better not yeah, maybe I mean, you're better here you know try to gas station but um, it's the, the um, trucks coming and going no, no, no that's crazy no but where the gas station is it's a nice camping area below next to the river huh? now that's where you could go a torches that's where you could park and then you have a castle in the morning in front of you right there right in front of the castle <laughs> right now it's coronavirus uh, you know so there. it's all yours <laughs> <laughs> that's something you could do you know but you're gonna you're gonna rush through here right you're gonna you're gonna in the morning you're gonna go back probably yeah mini you know, yeah. through austria and, and to mini 
Yeah, we're in Croatia, or are you? Novalia. I'm sorry? Novalia. Never heard of that it's one. The island park. Ah, island park. Yeah. That's a small place. Well, I mean. <laughs> There's a, it's a, it's a uh, big city, Novaya, which has a great restaurant. You can eat there. Sure, sure. And yeah, but the nice. Beach nice. is very stony. It's right? very beautiful, no? Yes. You like beach? Yeah. Okay, he says the beach is very stony in Novalia. Um, he says the beach is very stony. And he says this so that he would remind me of what I already explained earlier. Um, I protested him he said he said when we meet I'm gonna say to you this is a code word the MK ultra code word is what this is and you see here it's interesting because you can see this you know uh, you get to see this you get to see this beach here This is this is not this is when you come to the end. Yeah, here. Next to this van here. Maybe that's why the van is here. Um, you're gonna see what a coincidence as I continue later on. Uh, and I protested him and he said this is gonna be the code word when we meet. The beach is very stony. And in just a little bit in just a little bit you're gonna hear the other guy he's gonna be coughing just I will be the water is very clear you can go um, snorkeling yeah, and see lots of uh, very clear water it's amazing you hear this <coughs> that was the other guy uh, he says very clear water it's amazing you can go there snorkeling uh, this is what how I got into Croatia I was telling him all the time uh, he was asking what what is new with me under MK actually do they have any kind of recommendations anything from my world that's when we met with the Stefan first he wanted to get to know me literally he wanted to get to know me and so he said and what about you uh, what, where are you from at all? This is how it was when we met. Where are you from at all? What, what, uh, uh, what about your part of the world? What is interesting over there? What do you recommend something or something? And I was talking to him under MK Ultra. I was talking to him about Croatia, how nice it is, about Slovenia and uh, mountains and stuff. That's something he already talked earlier about. Hills. Uh, and that's something like similar to Austria, but Croatia, uh, about this crystal water, and that's how I got attention, and that's how I got him actually to the Rijeka area, which I was interested in myself. I wanted to investigate the Rijeka area myself, <laughs> and I came to idea, because I didn't like the ideas about others that traveled, whatever they wanted, uh, to basically, I could use him to, under MK Ultra, <laughs> to get an idea how to see the area of Rijeka, Bakker and stuff like that, what what exactly that looks like. And I figured out maybe this is exactly my kind of guy that can help me see a little bit uh, the Croatia around the Rijeka, that we can maybe do something like that, explore together. And sure enough, I got him uh, twice. The third time, however, I don't know, maybe even he got tired of it. I have no idea, but I know that I like that area a lot. Uh, and so, yeah, that's what happened. Already, ladies and gentlemen, he brought me first to Pag. He abandoned me. Yeah, I have to complain to you. He abandoned me already the second day. Uh, I no longer had any kind of control on this island, Pag, over him. 
um, he did so uh, he he took off to this side here uh, this this golf site on the other side he started to explore the island he started to explore the island and I was left to mercy uh, at mercy to weirdos yeah all kinds of people with them uh, I was just waiting for him to quickly come back and save me <laughs> no, not that not that bad I guess no there was all kinds of people and from Slovenia and from all over the place they were coming and from Germany and God knows where uh, and uh, it just um, I, I felt really good around Stefan all right so I didn't like that but yeah, under MK Ultra, you are almost. Uh, this has almost become like your parent, literally. I mean, it's 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 quite crazy stuff. I did not like when he would even go and park car in Munich. I'm gonna get to that. Uh, by the way, this is gonna be like maybe even in three parts video because this is huge. I'm gonna do Munich and beyond uh, when it comes to MK Ultra. I am quite decided to do a lot of stuff. Uh, so um, so there you have it let's let's continue with this so the, he starts coughing uh, you know when the other guy when Stefan is talking about uh, clear and snorkeling very nice and clear and for the snorkeling here now let's hear what else uh, I think it's by far the nicest beach here in, in Croatia yeah, what I think basically almost look like a Mariana Trench right now. That's what I think. I am trying to just, you know, ho get a hold of some information that I can use so that I give him a chance to recognize our previous, uh, you know, knowing each other, meeting, knowing each other that's what i try to get and people are not going to give it that for free you have to earn by pointing out something about these people so they can give you a yes this is how that's done if i would not succeed with it it will go to the timing of 120 seconds uh, these people could drove away forever and we would never see each other again that's all that's how that works brutal i think if you would compare this to Greece or something like that, or Italy, I think, and I think Croatia is far more beautiful. But another one beautiful is in Albania, down south, and, and Montenegro is also beautiful. But further down, I don't know, Greece is more like a sand, I don't know, like a sand of the sand, I mean, I don't, I don't like that so much, I like stones. I like that, yeah. But that's very nice here, yeah. Is it the first time you're here? Uh, you mean here in Slovenia or...? No, I mean in that place, in, in Croatia, like... I went a few, a few times. You already. did go a few times? Yeah, yeah. Uh -huh, it's uh -huh. the place we always go, probably. Uh -huh, uh -huh. I see. Okay, uh, I like rocks. Rocks is what I like, just like you see here. Um, I asked him if it's the first time and he tells me that now I want that confirmation because he said that he was in Novo Mesto the first time you know he insisted in the end I'm gonna play you the audio about this he insisted and insisted he was the first time I in the Novo Mesto in my city here in Slovenia man this is like a <clears throat> almost like a slap but yeah uh, that's how it works and more credit to me if I'm able to prove that he was already here many times before um, he was he had also friends here in Novo Mesto he had friends uh, he also did brought uh, is also did help people with business and stuff like that look um, at my Pleasant surprise, he exclaims that he was in Croatia already on several occasions. Now that's a signal to me since earlier I, I couldn't establish whether he was once or more 
or more often already in Croatia, uh, that he is actually willing to go further with me. It's just that I have to do something about, uh, point out something, right? So he says, no, it's not my first time in Croatia. I was there already before. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh. But he tells, I gotta, I have to go. I have to go. I, I got a phone call again. It's like this all the time. He, he holds the phone all the time in his hands. Uh, and that's what he does. This is quite a pressure on me. A lot of people would just simply walk away from it. Uh, not to mention the blondie guy. The blondie guy by profession, today I'm going to tell you he's an electronic, uh, told me that uh, he was not happy as I started to talk about the Germany. Dra, 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 dra. Now that's not true. This guy loves me. It's not true. Uh, but the politicians over there uh, in Germany, uh, I don't think they ever really wanted some kind of special relationship between me and Germany, to be honest. That's where the problem was. The problem was year 2003, the big conflict between me and Merkel, which is something not only Merkel and her associates have a knowledge as an ultimate insult that became my, like more than evident between me and Merkel for the first time uh, in 2005, 2004, when I was completely open about her that she's no good in her face in front of her associates. It was already in a Munich area, people that told me that not only in many but in germany that they are watching this stuff that she did some really uncool stuff to others uh and they're having a really really second thoughts about it so i don't know what exactly can develop this isn't about angela merkel only this is about well i feel like i would say real germany uh, I had a really good time coming to Germany. Uh, to be completely honest with you, I, I, um, I was very welcome in Germany. From beginning, I was very welcome in Germany. Uh, it was a stupid stuff and it went in the very, very wrong direction. Uh, but people treated me well they did not pick on me in continuation i will explain who did cause me a troubles in germany to the degree that eventually in 98 i no longer could hide the disappointment and for the first time it could have been even in 97 i had like on a street a disagreement with him in munich so big that it finally got attention from Germans who observed all. They knew all about it. But the person was from a prominent individual from the US uh, that he was big enough so that they would not warn them about it. But I prompted about this person in 97. In 98, I started to ask, these German politicians not to allow this person into Germany anymore because in Germany it was it had tremendously everything when it came to West Eastern Europe I don't even know what it was it was the political shit but on top of the political shit it was envy it was that Polish Czech envy it was from literally my saving Skoda factory. Literally my saving Skoda factory right before Miller Zeman in 1995. Before the Russian ice, my saving Skoda factory, it went into a complete lunacy issues, hatred that appeared to me even in last stages. Uh, as I was told in Poland, we're going to have, and you're not going to have, and this and that, uh, literally into issues that have driven these politicians and even some crazy people there. 
into belief that I have to be basically deprived of my life. Sorry to say that, but envy, like, why is your country so rich, this Slovenia? Why do you have US citizenship? How much does he make? Why does he make so much and I don't? Why is he entitled to be in the US? Why does he have this? Why, how, how can he have a car? How can he have a food? How can he have this? Why is he free? Why don't you break him a spine? Why don't you put him inside of the mental hospital? This is what I'm talking about. This shit started, ladies and gentlemen, with uh, Trump children, with Eric and Trump Jr. Uh, at Munich, at one point in time, I had enough because I hated nothing more than to be a possession of Donald Trump who would not let me off the hook. Whenever we came to Germany, I was like his private property. He was like, he was like he had his two sons basically to like grab him, control his every move, every step, wherever he goes, don't let him anywhere. He was after a business, after the money. He used Germany literally as a jump desk for his business. This is Donald Trump who built, ladies and gentlemen, his entire fortune, everything, from what was one time completely broken man, who owed billions of dollars, uh, again, back on his foot. Literally like this. So, from beginning, I was like almost completely his property. Once he grabbed enough money, he would let me on the hook and he would lend me what for what probably even he charged to other business people, to other statesmen, to other politicians and so on. This is unbelievable story about total something else. Uh, so this is how it goes. Let's continue with this audio recording. Germany was just, uh, for me, this was just a beautiful woman everywhere. That's what it was. And I didn't have to be afraid that somebody's gonna lie about me that somebody's gonna pull under my feet some tricks lies trickery about but it was also unpleasant stuff it was also the stuff that i had nothing to do with uh it did go into a nazi issues for which however i was told will be the case will be used because of the stuff that went on especially here in slovenia against me because of this partisan memorials where I was brought and well even beaten up and abused and all kinds of stuff before they have introduced me to a broader Slovenian public as a hater of the partisan memorials uh, quite insane stuff considering that I am from the partisan family myself and very very partisan family You know, I wish you a nice trip here. This is a perfect place, really. You found a good place, I think. And uh, maybe in the morning you can go here. You can go to a torchet. You take, you take a little soap. You jump in the water and wash yourself, and you go. Yeah, yeah. Relax, relax. Bye, bye now. I try to do two things. Number one is to just calm these people and just walk away. Yeah. I know I have to turn around really fast. Well, I did not get so far as I was told I'm gonna get. The two gentlemen did exactly what they said they're gonna do. Behind the van they set like a table with drinks, uh, with what they told me it's gonna be like actually really unhealthy stuff it's not what we do otherwise but for the opportunity like this we're gonna do it they told me yes i remember all that stuff and then i turned around because the words from sergey from my belarus sergey came to me at least something came to me and he said uh, i figured them out uh, i remember and he said this when we came back one is in uh, one works at university and uh, is um, one works at the university and the other one uh, live outside of the 
a Minhen Ring uh, bypass. And that time, Sergey did not have a van. I don't know what year was it, maybe 2015. Uh, 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 sorry, truck. He would take me with a van. They gave him a van for that opportunity to deliver something over there in Munich. Then they give him some, some job over there too, and back and forth and so on. Uh, but we did go uh, to visit both. So with this armed, now let's see, mm, I walk away, I still walk away for two minutes. It takes me one minute one way and then one minute back. At the end, I'm gonna play this audio. Accelerate this. Okay, I'm talking to myself. Listen, what that looks like. calculating everything right now everything everything from here to this to that all kinds of information Keep this. Did you work at the university? Okay. Uh, so. <laughs> I turned around already and I returned back. He is still on the phone call. This opportunity though. He is still on the phone. Yeah. Here it is. Since you're from Mini, you know, I was gonna ask you something. You, uh, you have some kind of university, right? Like no, I do make a big mistake here. I do make a big mistake. Uh, it's a big, big, big mistake. It's, it's a big mistake. I am under tremendous pressure, and it's a big mistake. Uh, the blonde guy who is actually electronic um, I am under all kinds of pressures right now I already explained few uh, I assume because of this words and I have no map I have nothing that I would look just this words and I know the Stefan Stefan has been always involved in MK Ultra uh, preferred option from Angela Merkel my goodness since 1994 uh, 2003 this guy was a captain since 2002 2003 he became 2002 he became completely in charge for intercontinental uh, 2003 yeah. uh, so I am I am really now under pressure and I ask have you exactly that's stupid too because I know for the blonde guy that he lives outside of the rink and I'm stupid enough to ask blonde guy that he has a university and he's a teacher at university uh, that was not brilliant of me really but enough for them to confess themselves you finished the university and he, did you work at the university he did you also went uh, oftentimes to America. You now I'm pointing at a staff, and you also went oftentimes to America. But I'm MK Ultra staff member, my friend. I, I tell him all about it. Now there is no escape. Remember, I was sure about you, but I was thinking it was you that you, but 
That's so interesting, eh? Okay, did, and did so we meet? Did we meet, meet, meet before? <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's very, very <laughs> nice. We're still on. Yeah, I, I did. I did point it out. I did point it out. Uh, he is relieved because, as I stated, this is a chance you get. If you make it, you make it. If you don't make it, you just don't make it. Unbelievable. Damn it. That's Wait. crazy. You, for you, I remember you long time. But for him, I, 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 I think, I think it's something like Munich. It's a ring, right? Around the Munich, I say, uh, bypass. And... I don't even have the map in front of me, you know. I don't know, what you mean, you know. But you live like outside of this bypass, no? Like there is a ring of, in Munich, like around those, like autobahn. Mm -hmm. And you live like outside of this. Uh, yes? <coughs> Very nice. Okay, uh, this is this another factor. This is this another factor that was troubling me. Uh, this guy told me that he's not gonna be happy, that he wouldn't even come and stuff like this because I, I did have something to say about the Germany. This guy, I don't think he knew everything about. Uh, either he didn't know anything about. Uh, regardless of it, this is a young kid. Uh, this is German. I understand that. I want to say thank you very much. Yes, they both give me a confirmation that this is exactly what it is. In a little bit, I'm going to make a breakdown of the area about where the two guys were and so on. Um, There is nobody, I think, in this world that 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 uh, can really judge me about anything. Um, especially not people in Germany, I would say that. Um, that that they could say something about me that that. Uh, I caused some kind of harm or something deliberately that I wanted to hurt somebody over there or something like this. There is absolutely nobody. Uh, I don't think so. I don't think there is uh, somebody that could point out that I was some kind of person that I would dislike German people or something like that. If Germans had a king like this, a British had a king like this, uh, I think they would have far more than what they had, including with the Queen Elizabeth. This is not a joke. Uh, I bleed it, literally, and for the British and for the Germans and for others, I was so stupid that you have no clue what they have done to me here in Slovenia. What? kind of issues mounted at top of my head. The people that were chancellors and presidents and royalties uh, couldn't believe their eyes, especially after my undergoing under MK Ultra, as I did. But the problem with this stuff was I was becoming, without even understanding, so radical that uh, yeah, I no longer will recognize myself really. No, I don't think so. There is a single German or British uh, that possibly could resent me a single thing. No, whatever the politicians did, this royalty is what they did. This is. This rests with them, on their conscience. Uh, let's continue with this audio here.
Very nice. The, the, the autobahn, yeah, the, the round thing. Yeah, so and... I am sorry if I disappointed, but I did explain everything I had to explain about this issues. And he lives outside of this autobahn, you know? Yes. <laughs> yes, no? And, and, and you, you are... Uh, Wow, man, you... Remember that I'm impressed. Yeah. He says, uh, if I remember that he is impressed. You, I'm going to play the whole audio recording at the end. It was actually very difficult for me to ask. And the guy whom I have asked is the blonde guy. He was very, very uncomfortable. Maybe he had... Uh, maybe he resented me. Maybe he resented me... I am. I am impressed. I mean, I am impressed. I, I thought I was already crossed from Germany. <laughs> yeah, that's crazy. Yeah, that's unbelievable. I actually tell, I, I'm a little bit evil here. I actually tell that maybe I was already crossed from Germany. And I'm laughing about it. And uh, the other guy notices that. The other guy told me that if whatever you're going to ask now, you're going to ask. Uh, if you're going to come back, and uh, this way we're gonna disappear. And sure, I tried to come back because as I walked away from them, I reminded myself of additional uh, details. Uh, so I rushed back. I reminded myself, by the way, this guy was electronic uh, and many other things. But they were just right next to me, just as they promised they would. It was like this, that the two promised me they would still hang around if uh, maybe that I should hurry up and go out more and stuff like this. But hmm, I, when I dedicate myself to something, I plan to complete this and uh, the procedure because of which I lost nine days, Stefan, dear Stefan, and the friend the blondie guy listen this is not okay uh, i already lost 26 years of life it's not okay to do for somebody to do stuff like this to me and deprive me of another day from ability to go out and exercise this is bad uh, this is a bad stuff but look uh it happened even on this occasion it did happen so that I just, I was locked inside uh, and really um, I would not want to go out. I would not want to go and do stuff as I was told because I deem that this, the stuff that I do here right now is actually not even my job. I believe this is the job for the police, for investigators, that in the first place none of this should ever happen. I believe that because I am doing what you see here right now, um, I shouldn't be therefore bothered with stupidities, you know, having my private belongings destroyed, vandalized, broken, and all kinds of stuff like that, uh, and even interrupted during video recordings. This is the stuff, this is just my beliefs, all right? So I hope you don't resent, but. Uh, I feel in such moment that if the system is going to punish me for the stuff that have already done against me, to me, without any just, without any kind of justification, then so be so. If that's going to make somebody feel better about giving me more pain, uh, more, if that's a Germany, then so be so. That's how I feel about it. I'm going to pay that price. If you think, well, that's up to the German people to think, not up to me. What to think? Okay. But, but where, where did we meet? Uh, so where? Yeah, everywhere, conference? everywhere. And in Germany and in America. So he wants to say where, where we met. Yeah, I told him uh, in America, America in Germany, everywhere. Where you went. Uh, then here, right here in Slovenia, right here in this spot. This it's not the first time you are here. 
This is unbelievable. So you, you, you are at the university, and uh, so that was here. Two thousand six, two thousand seven, two thousand eight. Was it? Ah, no, no, two thousand eight. I didn't start yet. You didn't start? No, I started two thousand ten. Two ten. Yeah, two ten. Okay, but okay. Uh, I started in two thousand and ten. Uh, I will say, because he asked me, but I'm here. I'll try if I can repeat years of the university and then the post university and stuff when he started uh, work with work at the university and so on uh, nothing to worry about it uh, i i was very very in detail i have explained about the studying studying you started you supported yourself with the work in, in a little bit I think I will I'm pretty sure demonstrate even the store where you did so uh, you work your studies you work along the studies uh, in this refrigeration department and then you work in another department and that stuff all right that stuff I remember this is very close to university the reason I think is the name uh, but what I want to say is when you decided you had some time you remember you was you were telling me that that you're gonna go study that you're gonna go study uh, it was like one year uh, second year so that was like 2003 and 2004 uh, and yeah quite frankly i think that you probably ended that you completed the university probably i would say Probably sometimes I, I think like in, 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 in 2010, you know, 2008, 2009, 2010, and then you started with the work at university, something like this, maybe even two years in between or something like that, or something like that. So I would say that that work at university, yeah, I would say that then in 2000, since 2010, actually I would say for the work. Uh, at university, I was, I'm a little bit surprised because I was actually thinking that uh, work at university, uh, 2012, 2010, then, yeah, that's it, since work at university, this is the way it is. Uh, what I was going to say, what I was going to say, it's a very unusual uh, teachings that you do. This is another thing. I was very, very interested in. Uh, told me because of me, because of my interest uh, for German culture. Eventually, that you decided to proceed a history as a subject, so that you uh, you must be then teaching a history, something like that. You know humanistic maybe human something uh, history related because of your ability to relate to people I think uh, I think that you do that you do have a history uh, something very very unspecific not uh, not something like uh, regularly most often times across accounting and economic and stuff like this in your case this is something that has to do with the social sciences with the uh, actually with the history i think in this case so that's going to be another credit you're going to give me and the other guy he is uh, electronic not electrician but electronic electronic there were two electronics involved uh, and then some other people also i'm going to get to from munich yeah, they were involved in MK Ultra, of which uh, there was another group of guys also from this area that I knew even before I knew Stefan. In a little bit, I'm gonna start the MK Ultra. I knew these guys even before I knew Stefan, and one of the guys was an electrician. Uh, but in this case, we are talking about electronic, we are talking about. Uh, like a high-tech uh, high person 
you would say like a secondary technician, uh, secondary school education kind of uh, technician, or maybe even two years on top of that, like an engineer, electronic, that's a blondie guy. So you see, I pointed out both of you, the professions, uh, what exactly you do and stuff like that. So let's learn some more and see what where this is going to take us. Unbelievable. That is unbelievable. That's, that's, you know, you know if I would have my, if the house would be mine, it's for my mom and dad. You Which know? house? The house yeah. where I live. I would say, come with me right now. <laughs> Seriously, I would. But it's not. And I can't. But I would love to. Thank you. That's, that's, thank you very much that, that, that you that he did something like this. That's unbelievable. That's unbelievable. Yeah, it's like this. Stefan was here inside of this house. Stefan was here inside of this house. Uh, if I were to recall this earlier, my mom told me don't bring people home that you're going to meet under MK Ultra, in post MK Ultra, this and that. But uh, she did give me a green light for few people that I could bring home. And Stefan, he did come to me once I came home. Uh, you were on that list. You were actually on that list. My mom gave okay for you because you were such a nice guy. Stefan met some people here in Novo Mesto, make good friends here, um, helped some businesses grow. Uh, it's stuff like this, I can say. Uh, it didn't come to me right there. I felt sorry, I felt bad that the two of you came from so far away because you did. Uh, with that little van, I reminded myself of my Škoda in Czech Republic and in Poland, how I used to live inside there. Uh, and so I felt that I would, I would really do this. If this was my house, I definitely would. But so, at least I explained the situation. So how is in Germany? It's quite unbelievable. Yeah. How is in Germany? So right. Yeah, it's very restricted. Restricted. I'm sorry. Restricted. What? You're not allowed to do. You're not allowed. To do. You're not allowed huh? Yeah. What is it like restriction? And yeah, and the the gear guns. Uh, think they open. Oh well. What about this this coronavirus now and yeah, stuff? Yeah, I, I hope it ends. Soon. I hope this is. Uh, but but open. now when you go from Croatia, you, it's going to be. Well, what's going on with this now? Uh, at the borders. When you go through the border, they let you go through. Yeah, they let you go. But they, they check us. Check a lot. They check a lot. Um, yes, we had to open, open the head a look. Really? They saw, really? They saw our mess and they said, oh yeah, okay, close it, it's fine, so just go. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So they are, they're, they're, they're very friendly, I guess. Yeah, they should be, they should be, that's good. Mm -hmm. Wow. Okay. Yeah, but thanks for, thanks for asking. I think yeah. we, we got it. Thanks for asking, come on, on me. Yeah, thank you very much. Nice, nice meeting you. Stefan Bustian. Bustian. And, and your friend? Fine. Good night. Yeah, good night. Uh, good night. Uh, okay, good luck. Bye bye. Thank you. Bye bye. it I left I walked away uh, in a little bit I'm gonna play you uh, the whole audio recording um, that's all I'm gonna do for part number one I'm gonna put this stuff online then um, but in part number two and then maybe even part number three I don't know yeah I don't I just uh, I would be really pleased if I would <laughs> get done with this. Um, I am going to concentrate. Oh. I am going to concentrate on the city of Munich.
to be very very precise exactly into the area you see this is a ring from Munich Max Vorstadt, Ludwig's Vorstadt you see the, this is road this yellow thing that you see here now what I'm gonna do I'm just gonna go ahead and I'm gonna take like this this thing here like this and we're gonna do this stuff do this here with uh, some kind of blue color like that so that I demonstrate this is a ring here ladies and gentlemen ring there's a bypass uh, this is the stuff that's used in the bigger cities to just uh, re for the relief for the traffic relief so that cars can travel faster in and out of the city around the city and so on and so I am gonna now concentrate uh, to be a little bit more precise I am gonna now concentrate if I zoom I'm gonna concentrate into this area it's called Echardin uh, actually I'm gonna concentrate on not only this area but this entire area here uh, it's it's quite considerable size of many I'm gonna concentrate I'm gonna break this down for you and then I'm gonna concentrate even beyond in some city here uh, up north completely new city they built and stuff like that that's what I am gonna be doing um, if I would go to the to the Google Maps it's a really really simple since this 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 uh, it's kind of it does concern the two um, and that's an easy easy thing for me to do okay uh, the two I uh, used to be in this street here okay the two used to be in this street here you see this is the house this one here in the back uh, they used to be a roommates um, it, uh, it was one guy was upstairs the other one downstairs uh, and then it was a Stefan I don't know exactly uh, it was a Stefan that moved from here and by the way this is also interesting here I like this one here the lady here that you see that holds this envelope in her hands yeah uh, is the lady that works at the local university here oh man I, I listen uh, I told you that now we are in Munich now we are in Munich now we are in Munich you see we are where I did not even know that I knew so well the place she works okay if this is where the two used to live She, I think, works right here. It's called Fresenius University Department of Health and Social Affairs. Uh, I believe in administration department. She's not a teacher or anything. She works inside of the administration department that Blondie. Uh, <laughs> I knew her from since the beginning of the time. Uh, boy 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 since the day one morning sometimes in I think even it was 95 okay if it was not 95 then it must have been 96 okay 
myself, I, and Angela Merkel walk through here. It's so that politicians, before they become chancellors, before they become presidents, do participate in renovations of this building. Sometimes they paint them, sometimes they renovate them, sometimes they entirely rebuild the building's parking lots. Uh, if you see people like this, as I was told, walking around, uh, know that sometimes in the future they're going to become something like this. They collect political points with the people. They are trying to rebuild their political career. They are looking for supporters. And so that's how that's done. More about all this stuff, ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to do in the part two of three, let's say, MKL train Germany. That's all for now. Uh, now, what I'm going to do, I'm going to present you with an audio recording. I'm going to play the whole audio recording from A to Z, from beginning to the end. Uh, and uh, that's basically how we're going to go through this stuff. Yeah. Camping, huh? For one You're camping, huh? For one night, for one long ride, eight hours. No, no, it's okay. It's no problem. No, 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 no problem. Ah. No, just some food and legs and... Yeah, 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 nice, nice, nice. Where are you from? Germany. Ah, from Germany. <laughs> I see. <laughs> I see. From where about Germany? Munich. Munich. From many, ah, I see. And you're going to Croatia for some of that, huh? I might Maybe. come back quick. Um, uh, yeah, we also went to Croatia on the way back home. You're on the way back home? Yeah. Aha, uh -huh. to Munich. Yeah, the area. <laughs> <laughs> A long ride, huh? Yeah. yeah. Do you know this place already? Maps researched and. Erste Mal, erste Mal. Erste Mal? Erste Mal. Um, first time, you're here first time. Ja, das huh? erste Mal. So erste Mal. Sehr gut. <laughs> ja, wir sind durchgefahren uh, nach Kroatien, aber wir waren noch nie hier. Uh, in das erste Mal, stay. first day. Uh, yeah, it's, it's nice, it's very. Uh, and, uh, the mountains and the uh, here it's very empty, which is nice. Maybe you should stay some more time here. Yeah, yeah maybe. Yeah. Is there a good place to go here? Yeah, yeah. it's right here. I thought it's not too far. Mm -hmm. That's a nice place to go. Good. Yeah, but how is Ljubljana? The, the capital? That's far away. Yeah. <laughs> Not really. I'm kidding. Okay. <laughs> your, your friend is looking at me. He's already. <laughs> yeah, we are, we are very uh, suspicious. Uh, no, not suspicious, but uh, uh, tired. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I understand. You're gonna sleep inside of the car and stuff. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. It's independent. Well, torches is very nice here, but now. The river is a little bit high right now. Otherwise, I, I would say to you, go and have a swim. In a lake? <laughs> oh. I'm sorry? In a, in a lake? No, it's a river here. A river? Yeah. yeah I saw it on the map. Huh? On the map, yeah. Mm. yeah. So you came right now, you came, huh? Yeah, half an hour ago. Oh, yeah. yeah. Are yeah. you living here or hiking? I was hiking and... Uh, yeah, I'm on my way back now. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, it's a good place to hike. 
up at dawn. Here it's very nice, you know. Yeah, it's nobody's gonna bother you here. Uh, I'm thinking, yeah, there are good locations here, but right now, yeah. yeah we had two cars coming coming by, but I hope at night. Uh, I don't think you're going to have a problem here, but there is a road right there that goes to the gas station. That's a forest right there, but you probably are better off here anyways, because I don't know. I'm not exactly friend of gas station, you know, remote forest like this. It's not maybe, maybe better not. Maybe you're better here, you know. I tried gas station, but it's the trucks coming and going. No, 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 that's crazy, no. But where the gas station is, it's a nice camping area below, next to the river. Now that's where you could go, or torches. That's where you could park, and then you have a castle in the morning in front of you right there, right in front of the castle. Right now it's coronavirus, you know. So nobody is there. It's all yours. Yeah. <laughs> That's something you could do, you know. But you're gonna you're gonna rush through here, right? You're gonna you're gonna in the morning you're gonna go back. Probably yeah. Munich. Well, by Austria yeah. and to Munich. Through Austria and, and to Munich. Yeah, where in Croatia are you? Novalia. Novalia. I'm sorry? Novalia. Never heard of that it's one. The island park. Ah, island park. Ah, that's a small place. Well, I mean... <laughs> There's a, it's a, a, a big city, Novalia, which has great restaurants. You can eat there. Good food. Sure, sure. And yeah, but the nice, beach nice. is very stony. That's right? very beautiful, no? You so like beautiful. beach? And the water is very clear. You can go um, snorkeling there and see lots of uh, very clear water. It's amazing. Uh, I think it's by far the nicest beach here in, in Croatia. I think if you would compare this to Greece or something like that, or Italy, I think, and I think Croatia is far more beautiful but another one beautiful is in Albania down south ah, and okay. and Montenegro is also beautiful but further down I don't know Greece is more like a sand you know, not exactly kind of the sand I mean I don't I don't like that so much I like stones I like that yeah but that's very nice here yeah is it the first time you're here? Uh, you mean here in Slovenia or? No, I mean in that place in, in Croatia, like. I went a few, a few times. Already. You did go a few times. Yeah, yeah. Uh -huh, it's a uh -huh. place we always go, probably. Uh -huh, uh -huh. I see. So I think I got a phone call again. Yeah, again. yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, you know, I wish you a nice trip here. This is a perfect place, really. You found a good place, I think. And uh, maybe in the morning you can go here. Huh? You can go to a torchet. You take, you take a little soap. You jump in the water and wash yourself, and That's you go. Good, yeah, yeah, you yeah, yeah relax. relax, relax. Bye bye now.
just here for a minute, you know. I was gonna ask you something. You have some kind of university, right? Like you finished the university and he, did you work at the university? He did. You also went oftentimes to America. You are an MK Ultra staff member, my friend. I remember. I was sure about you, but I was thinking it was you that you, but that's so interesting, eh? And so, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, it's very, very <laughs> nice. Christian, 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 uh, unbelievable, damn eh? it, that's Wait, crazy. Eh? You, for you, I remember you long time, but for him, I, 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 I think, I think it's something like Munich. It's a ring, right around the Munich, I say, uh, bypass, and. I don't even have the map in front of me, you know. I don't have the map in front of me, you know. But you live like outside of this bypass, no? Like there is a ring of, in Munich, like around those, like Autobahn. Mm -hmm. And you live like outside of this. Yeah. Yes? Yeah. Very nice. Very nice. The, the autobahn, yeah, the, the round. Yeah, the, and, and he lives outside of this autobahn, you know? Yes. <laughs> yes, no? And, and, and you, you are... Uh, wow, man, you... Did you remember that? I'm impressed. I am, I am impressed. I mean, I am impressed. I, I thought I was already crossed from Germany. <laughs> yeah, that's crazy. Yeah, that's unbelievable. But, but where where did we meet? Uh, so where? Yeah, everywhere, conference? everywhere, and in Germany and in America, where you went. Uh, then here, right here in Slovenia, right here in this spot. This, it's not yeah, the first yeah. time you are here. This is unbelievable. So you 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 are at the university, and uh, so that was here. Was on. 2000, 6, 2007, 2008? Uh, no, no, 2008, I didn't start yet. You didn't start? No, I started in 2010. 2010? Yeah, 2010. Okay, but okay. okay. Unbelievable, that is unbelievable. That's, that's, you know, you know, if I would have my, if the house would be mine, it's for my mom and dad. You Which know? house? The house yeah. where I live. I would say, come with me right now. <laughs> Seriously, I would. But it's not. And I can't. But I would love to. Thank you. That's, that's, thank you very much that, that, that you that you did something like this. That's unbelievable. <laughs> that's unbelievable. Yeah. That's unbelievable. Yeah. So how is in Germany everything? How is it going and everything? It's alright. Yeah, it's very risky. Restricted. I'm sorry? Restricted. You're what? not allowed to do uh, my stuff. You're not allowed to do. You're not allowed, huh? Yeah. What is it? Like restriction? And yeah, and the, the beer gardens. Uh, I think they open. Oh, well, beer what about this uh, this coronavirus now? And yeah, stuff? I, I hope it ends soon. I hope this is. Uh, but but open. now when you go from Croatia, it's going to be. Well, what's going on with this now? Uh, at the borders? When you go through the border, they let you go through? Yeah, they let you go. They, let they check us, check a lot. They check a lot? Um, yes, we had to open, open the head a look. Really? They saw, really? They saw our mess and they said, oh yeah, okay, close it, it's fine. So, just go. Yeah, yeah. So they are. They're, they're, they're very friendly, I guess. They yeah, they should be, they should be, that's good. Mm -hmm. Wow. Eh? Okay. Yeah, but thanks for thanks for asking. I think yeah. we, we got thanks it. for it's asking. Come on, eh? yeah, Thank you very much. Nice, nice meeting you. Stefan, Stefan, Stefan Bustian, Bustian. Okay. And and your friend. Fine. Good night. Yeah, good night. Uh, good night. Uh, okay. Good luck. Bye bye. Thank you. Bye bye.
ini Tengok Ya, MQ This gentleman is with me in the U.S. Wow. Oh my God, step on me. That is unbelievable. That is unbelievable.
was a frequent MK Ultra staff member. And I, I, I should have asked the other guy to go. I think that he does some kind of service now. I remember that he's an electrician or something like that. I remember that. Uh, I remember his girlfriend. Probably wife now. Yeah, yeah. But you know, if they went sleep, I'm not gonna fucking go bother them. Yeah, that is unbelievable. Yeah, yeah, he is, he is, he is, he is, he is, yeah, I remember. Whoa, whoa, whoa. They, they, they sleep probably, I would really go and ask that day. But. Okay, they went, eh? They left, eh? Okay, May the 30, 2020. 